Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. Robert Kennedy Jr. slams the SEC for protecting banks instead of the American people. And he's spot on with that. And it's been happening for a long period of time now. So sharing his intention to nominate crypto-friendly individuals to the SEC should he be elected president, Kennedy stated, I don't want people on the SEC commission who are anti-crypto. At most, they should be neutral. And we should have people on there from the crypto community. And, you know, if we had pro-crypto individuals running the SEC right now, innovation in this country would be pushing ahead. Cryptocurrency companies can expand and grow. We would most likely already have framework put in place. And with regulations coming in the near future, you want to make sure that pro-crypto individuals are behind those, those regulations. Because this way, the retail investor will be included in that. We will be able to hold crypto even into the future. If Gary had his way, me and you would be out of crypto right now. And I think even with the regulations that are coming, he's going to make it where you have to go through an accredited investor to invest in crypto in the future. And, you know, even after XRP has the major run up that it's going to have at some point, there's going to be new cryptocurrencies created. And I want to make sure me and you can invest in them in the future. Why should we be left behind? Crypto opens up so many opportunities for the small guy, the guy who goes to work, the working class guy who goes and he invests maybe 20, 30, 50, $100 a week in the crypto. He could get life changing money in the future. Without that opportunity, what do we have left in this country? Nothing. Kronos based derivatives platform adds support for XRP as SEC litigation nears end. An exciting development from, for the XRP community. Fulcrum Finance, a leading decentralized exchange built on the Kronos blockchain, has announced support for XRP on its platform. Traders can now leverage their positions and engage in long or short trades on XRP with a leverage of up to 75x, opening up new possibilities for profit-making opportunities. You know why everybody's integrating XRP right now? because nobody wants to miss out on what's about to happen. Other exchanges are relisting XRP as well at the same time. We see a few announcements here and there. XRP sees largest address activity spikes as it stages first breakaway in nine months. You know, once XRP got over 50 cents again, I was happy about that. I was excited because you know, even if XRP moves two or three cents, everybody in this community gets amped up because we know at any moment this cryptocurrency can blast off. And I think we're getting very close now. A lot of things are starting to come into play. You ever take notice? A lot more people are getting into crypto, getting into XRP. I think even the people that hated XRP are now investing in it because they don't want to miss what's about to happen. Interestingly, XRP is once again showing signs of a similar behavior. According to sentiment, the asset is currently showing a mild plus 4% decoupling from the broader altcoin market, with a 4.46% gain in the past 24 hours. XRP is the largest gainer among the top 30 assets, trading in green territories when others are facing losses. You know, there's times when you look at the market, everything's in red except XRP. We see that from time to time. XRP does what XRP does. Pro XRP attorney predicts the altcoins rally to $2 ahead of SEC versus Ripple verdict. So Johnny Dean says XRP price is on track to recover and set a target of $2. Imagine if we hit $2 before the Hyman documents are made public. That could even send us to a new all-time high, possibly. Then think about it. Shortly after, this judge rules in favor of Ripple, sending us above two digits. That would be absolutely incredible. And there's a good chance that that can actually happen. So will the IMF hold XRP? Take a listen. You want to take one? 
Go for it. The first one's for you. IMF. Do you see IMF holding crypto assets in the future? I did not put that up there. Remember, I'm from the legal department. I'm supposed to be very conservative about these things. Um, I, I don't want to go into great details about Maybe the Maybe I should take what the IMF yeah, is going to uh, do. Uh, I think we look, stunned Ross into silence with that one. For that to happen, okay, under the current legal framework, some country would have to use a crypto asset as its currency. Did you see how speechless that guy was and that smile? You know the IMF is going to hold XRP in the future. Ripple's key partner joins forces with major UAE remittance service. So Tranglo, a well-known collaborator of Ripple, recently unveiled a fresh partnership with Al Ansari Exchange, boasting a massive customer base of 3 million individuals and facilitating around 130,000 transactions every day. The UAE-based remittance company holds a prominent position on the market. This strategic alliance represents a significant milestone for Tranglo's expansion endeavors in the Middle East, specifically targeting the UAE, which stands as the second largest global market for outbound remittances. That's absolutely incredible. But right now, they're only talking about utilizing RippleNet. Later, they will use XRP. I believe any corridor right now that is using RippleNet but not using XRP, later will be using XRP. It's like the secret sauce. Ripple subsidiary wins global award for digital asset initiative. Mateco, a Swiss-based digital asset cust custody and tokenization platform recently acquired by Ripple, announced that it had won a new global award for innovation. In a tweet today, Mateco said it won the digital asset in an initiative of the year at recently concluded Global Custodians Leaders in Custody Asia Award. You know, in the beginning, people invested in XRP because of cross-border payments, on-demand liquidity. I think the next phase to investing is tokenization. It is going to be absolutely massive. Anybody holding a cryptocurrency that isn't tied to tokenization, they are holding the wrong crypto. Because tokenization is the future. It's like the next big step in crypto. Ripple claims that Coinbase used the him in emails to inform its decision to list XRP on, an ex on its exchange. Now, I remember you, a while back this was talked about, and then it kind of went away. Nobody talked about it again until now. The Ripple vs. SEC legal battle is heating up, with new details emerging about Coinbase's possible involvement in the case. In a recent court filing, Ripple alleges that Coinbase had access to the infamous William Hinman emails, which were sent by former SEC director shortly before he gave a speech declaring that Bitcoin and Ethereum were not securities. Ripple claims that Coinbase used the Hinman emails to inform its decision to list XRP on its exchange. The company also alleges that Coinbase shared the emails with other cryptocurrency exchanges as well which led to a coordinated pump and dump scheme that artificially inflated the price of XRP. The SEC has denied Ripple's allegations, but the new details have raised serious questions about Coinbase's conduct. If it is true that Coinbase had access to the Hinman emails and used them to make trading decisions, it could face serious legal consequences. The Ripple vs. SEC case is still ongoing, but the new details about Coinbase's possible involvement have added a new layer of intrigue to the case. And you know, I remember early on some people talked about this, but it kind of went nowhere. Today, it has a lot more substance to it, I guess you want to say. And you know, if Coinbase did have access to the Hinman emails, why did they delist XRP? You know, did they want to hold everybody's funds? Or what was the case there? So remember, right after him and gave his speech, Joseph Lubin was interviewed and said, did he mention XRP? And the interviewer said no. And Lubin replied, that's interesting. 
So to me, it appears that XRP was supposed to be mentioned in this speech and given a free pass also. So it could be that Hinman wanted to make money on Ethereum and keep XRP in the dark. But in the emails, they must have decided that XRP and Ethereum were not security. So Coinbase decided to list XRP. That makes sense. And then later they delisted it once the lawsuit happened. Let me know your opinion on that as well. But again, I never liked Coinbase. There's a lot of shady stuff going on there. Look what happened with Rap Luna as well. David Schwartz says Ripple was created to distribute XRP as broadly as possible. So at, my, at least in my view, Ripple was created to distribute XRP as broadly as possible and with luck and if necessary, be able to generate enough revenue from sales or things like sales of XRP to sustain its operations. That came from David Schwartz. And I'm sure Ripple did have to sell XRP early on. But, you know, we're at a different time now. People, a lot of them are stuck in the past. People still believe that XRP is, was never meant for retail. And it does make sense. I think when XRP was originally sold, a lot of retail investors bought it up. Later, the banks probably said this is way too big for retail to be holding, hence the SEC case. Most likely, they thought, well, most people would sell off and never come back to XRP. Things are changing now once again. I think even the haters want to hold this crypto. I think anybody that out there that's coming into crypto, once they realize what utility is, they're buying XRP as well. But, you know, it really didn't matter because we knew Ripple needed money to sustain its operations or the company would have went bankrupt early on. But this is something that also pops up from time to time. People always say Ripple's getting rich off the retail investor. But without Ripple, a lot of the corridors that we're seeing open up around on-demand liquidity, a lot of those bank partnerships that are later going to utilize XRP, XRP would never get to the prices people expect it to get to in the future. But again, by saying that, you're expecting the actions of Ripple to push the price of XRP, which the SEC sees as very illegal, making it a security. But again... We know what we hold as XRP investors, and none of us invested early on because of Ripple. We invested because we knew what XRP was and the utility behind it. Hopefully, I made sense there. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.